Hey everyone, tonight uh, I'm at a place in Deep River, Connecticut. Just had a craving for some pizza, so I came to a place called Pizzeria Da Vinci. And it's, um, I think it's a small local chain, because when I went online, there was like five or six of them to choose from. I, just, I think this one is closest, so to have five or six of them down in this section of Connecticut where they're passionate about pizza... My guess is you're doing something right. So let's just take a look. I got some breadsticks. Uh, I'm sorry, not breadsticks. Garlic knots. They came with a marinara sauce. And then a large pepperoni pizza. So let me get it, give me a chance to set up here and then we will take a look at uh, how this stuff is. All right, after who knows what went on here, we're ready to go. So let's start off with a garlic knot. Just not very warm. I left from home and I ordered online. It allowed me to choose, choose a time. Those are all right. But... Wow. I cut these into pretty small pieces. And still, there's a lot of uh, drooping going on here. Decent bottom. Once again, it's warm but not hot. I don't get the point of having these apps if they don't pay attention to them. Some places follow it beautifully, others, I think I'm just going to have to go back to calling when I think I'm close and give them, let them give me whatever wait time there is. Um, it's a shame because it's just not hot. Nice little crisp going on there at the end. So, I will eat this meal, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Let's uh, wrap this up here at Pizzeria Da Vinci, Deep River, Connecticut. Garlic knots were good, not great. Not uh, Garlic knots, I'd say, oh, let's go get those garlic knots. The marinara that came with the garlic knots was very good. Excellent marinara. The pizza had potential, but... What am I supposed to do when you go online, you pick a time, because it's an hour ride to get here. So I picked a time, and I got here right at the time I was supposed to get here. And there's no question of a doubt the pizza's been sitting there for a while. It was barely warm. Um, why have that app if you're not going to pay any attention to it? So while the pizza was good, it was not hot or fresh. And that, that, that kind of irritates me. Don't have your app set up that way if you're not going to follow it. Um, so where am I? I don't know. They would have scored pretty well here, but I'm just tired of that. I'm tired of using an app that they don't use correctly. And then when I say they, this is just one of many. So it's going to impact their score. So 0 to 10. That pizza had been fresh. They would have done pretty well. But as it is, I'm going to go 7.8 because I don't want lukewarm to less than lukewarm pizza. I want hot pizza. I try to get to these places early because I know that they always overestimate the time. But this had to be sitting there for half an hour. Because it was sitting on the pizza oven. Just, just not impressed with that. So I want to throw this at you too. 
This all started when I was doing um, reviews on Google Maps. So if you ever want to see the places I've been, and I'm not saying I'm not saying click on anything, don't subscribe to anything, just but. If you have an interest in some of the places I've been and where they are compared to you, so I'm going to show you this card. I don't know how well that focuses that close. But the name right here, Bruce Preventure. So if you go to any of the places I've been and, and just look for my review, you can click on my name. And I'm a little anal about Google Maps. I, people will tell you I'm kind of unorganized, disorganized, and... A slob but when it comes to Google Maps I kind of went the opposite direction so I probably have 20 or 30 different lists on there um, one of them is simply restaurants I have visited and if you click on that list it'll show you all the restaurants and what's cool about it is no matter where you are it'll show you first what's closest to you and then slowly move away in, in all directions at the same time. But, so if you're in an area and you say, hey, I wonder if Provincia ever went to this place, you can click on it in Google Maps and, and see that. I also have it broken down other ways. There's other lists like Mexican. If it says Mexican, it's Mexican restaurants I've been to. Same thing happens. Closest to you. Pizza, Italian, barbecue. I have on there a list of places I want to go. Pizza, want to go pizza? Want to go burger? Want to go Italian? Want to go Mexican? So there's all kinds of uh, different lists on there. If you have an interest and you think, you know, what's what's near me that this guy has tried and what did he think about it? it it's right there for you. Just click on my logo. I think it's my me in a truck in front of a in front of Mount Rainier, if I'm not mistaken, and. Uh, then go down to the bottom where it shows public lists. Because if you just click reviews, it'll just show you the reviews in um, chronological order from the newest to the oldest. But if you if you go into my list, it'll show you what's closest to you. So if you have an interest in seeing what where I might have been compared to where you are. And, and I've had a few suggestions that uh, one guy asked me to go to some place in Beverly. I'll get there. I <laughs> just got to, it's a ride. So, um, but I will get there. I, I tell you, you ask me something. Kyle White, I apologize. You asked me a while ago to go to a couple places and I'm going to get there. I just haven't gotten to them yet. Um, so maybe it'll help you. Maybe you have no interest. Maybe you just like watch me sitting here babble about stuff. I don't know. But if you have an interest in where I've been around you, this is my 616th restaurant review on Google Maps. And uh, I don't know, it, it doesn't, my, my, my profile shows I've done like 1,350, but when you click on it, it shows 1,290 something, I don't know. Google Maps does have its issues. Um, and I take pictures just about everywhere, especially the restaurants I've got. Two or three thousand, over three thousand um, pictures, and over forty million views of my pictures, which kind of blows my mind. So, just a little aside, Bruce Preventure on Google Maps. Uh, any place you've seen me at on here has a review on it, and go find me there. Uh, if you if you want to, you can follow and, and just. See where I'm going or where I've been, but you don't have to. That's not what I'm pushing. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not into numbers. I, I don't care. I just do this because I enjoy it. So, um, anyhow, let's get back to Da Vinci, seven point eight, Deep River, Connecticut. Cost them. Don't use an app or don't don't give me an app that you're not willing to follow. This easily could have been up into the eights to the high eights, but. Wasn't hot, wasn't fresh. And, and I'll eat pizza the next day, don't get me wrong, but when I'm showing up and paying money, I, I want it hot and fresh. So here you go. Uh, Pizzeria Da Vinci. Sorry, I keep forgetting where I am. Deep River, Connecticut, 7.8.